Get up, old man. I, I am up. Get up! Oh. Oh. There, I'm up. Well, thank the good Lord you're back. Nothing worse for an old man than sleeping in the warm afternoon sun. You want a long sleep, Uncle? That can be arranged. It'll cost me less than food. You always was a hard and nasty man, John Marston. And you always was a useless, conniving thief. And where's them cattle? Did you take them to pasture? It's coming around to that. When, exactly? It's easy to pick on the elderly. It's easy, but it ain't dignified. Come on, old man. We'll do this together. Let's move him out! Whoa there! Let's keep him moving now! old man. Come on. Let's get this herd moving again. Hey. Move it out. Let's go.
look after the herd. I'll ride back. No thanks. You got your pound of flesh from me today. Come on! What are you looking at, old man? There's some Mustangs and some such out there beyond that ridge. Wondering if it was worth getting you and going around some of them up. Fair enough. We're nearly out of money. Ranch is in turmoil. We may not make it through the winter. What could we possibly want with some good quality horses? Come on. That tone of voice ain't so becoming on you. Makes you seem all pent up and angry like some black water would be business tycoon with a bad case of hemorrhoids. I'll give you a bad case of someone just shot me in the head if you don't hurry up. Are you gonna mount up, kid? Let's get after him. Why you gotta act so biggity all the damn time? What happened to what you? What were you gonna do? Just look at them horses all day? Well, God forbid I'd do anything around here without checking with His Royal Highness first. Yeah, you're real good at watching. That's about all you're good for, apart from bending your elbow. I can't do right for doing wrong. You're an ungrateful bastard, you know. I did my best when you was gone. Your best is like anybody else's worst. Come on. You're getting old. I gotta start taking things easy. You've been taking things easy for 40 years.
now. There you go. I got Will you shut up? You. Might as well see if you can get us another yeah. one. Make sure there's enough fresh hay. We need to keep them strong. All right. Damn, a little gratitude wouldn't kill you. Not a bad day's work. What's the book, boy? Uh, nothing, sir. What's it about? Well, it's an adventure, sir. Um, set out in the West, and it tells this amazing story of how people killed the savage Redskins, and how this man, this brave man, hunts the man who killed his father. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Talking of adventure, how'd you like to learn to track elk? Really big ones in the valley this time of year. We could use the meat. Well, I... I know you'd rather read your adventures. Trust me, this can be very enjoyable in its own way. I suppose maybe it's a little less dramatic. So, let's go, come on. You may get to see me get gored by some massive wild beast. Then you can write a story about that. Very funny, Paul. I've forgotten how funny you was. Grab your things.
Come on, let's go! Let's go! When he finds something, you stay back and I'll show you how to make a kill. Whatever you say, sir. You sure you're ready for this? I guess so. Now the trick to hunting is calm and patience. You gotta think and move like an animal to catch an animal. A rifle helps, doesn't it? Help don't stand still, son. Well, I wouldn't know. This is the first time you've taken me hunting. There's lots of things I ain't done with you, but I'm gonna try and make up for that. You don't seem too excited about this. What do you want me to say, Paul? Yippee? Are you sure you're all right? I mean, I know all that business must have been hard on you. It wasn't nothing. I'm not a kid anymore. Well, it won't happen again. It's over. Until the next time, you mean? Jack, he's on to something. There won't be a next time. Don't make no more promises, Paul. I've heard them all before. You know, one time I hunted a bear up in tall trees. You never seen a bigger animal in all your life. I read this story about a girl who was raised by wolves, and she'd hurt goats with them and everything. Sounds like a tall yarn to me. Taller than a boy being taken from his home and locked up in a dungeon? I'm just saying. Maybe you spend too much time with your head in those books. I thought you all wanted me to read. Slow it up now. Jack, there's one up ahead. Yeah, I see it. This one's mine. Stay with me, son. Come on. I'll show you how to cut the meat. I thought he was going to get away. That was great, huh? You just got to wait for the right shot, not rush Woo! it. That's a big one. This meat should fetch a decent price in Manzanita. Hope you were watching. It'll be your turn next. All right, let's see if we can find some more. You can do it, Rufus! Come on! You ready to take a shot, Jack? Of course, Paul. Remember, it's all about timing. Wait for your moment. Don't snatch at I know, I know. I saw how you did it. Find him, Rufus. That's it. Good boy. Go on, Rufus. Let's go. Where are they? You can do it, Rufus! Stay on him, boy! Come on! Yeah! Don't rush him. Steady now.
Nice work, son. You're a quick learner. Now come on. Let's get this meat over to the trading post at Manzanita. Hey, what? Whoa, come on. Did you see me? You did good, son. Can't we shoot some more? Only kill what you need. We'll go out again soon. You know, I didn't think I was gonna like it. I told you you'd have fun, didn't I? Let's go. Come on. Jack, you wait here. I'll be just a moment. Come on in. Every day, more new people get off the... Howdy, mister. Oh, well, let's see what we can do for you. I hope you enjoy a smooth ride. Next year, the train will be I'll be back be with more next faster. time I pass through. Mark my words. Don't be a stranger. You think I'd get bored here all day? All done. Let's head home. was so much fun, I can't rightly believe it. Just like in the books. We'll do it again soon. Now get to your chores. condolences. Oh, my dear Harold, I can't believe he's gone. I knew his frequenting that gambling boat would be the death of him. The death of him. Oh, Harold Thornton, I miss you. I see. I heard that dog trollop Clara laughing at the funeral. I can't 
can't understand how strangers can be so cruel. The world is a sad and terrible place. God preserve his soul. I'm sorry for your loss, ma'am. Take care. God. Scum who can become as angels if you just put down the booze. We are campaigning in Congress. We will save this nation from itself. In the land of liberty, men should be free to live soberly without fear that the perils of drink may overcome them. Do you like what you hear, sir? Not particularly. 
You'll take away our last freedoms, friend. Freedom to forget about our troubles. You don't have troubles, friend. You have all the joys of heaven here on Earth if you just put down the bottle. <laughs> you don't know me so well, friend. If you did, you'd know how moronic that sounds. I, Abner Forsythe, am not afraid to be called moronic, sir. That I don't doubt. Good day, sir. Oh, it shall be, sir. When we live temperately alongside one another, you are doomed! Doomed! I heard about you. Sure you did. <laughs> you that boy killed Bill Williamson over in Mexico. No, you got me mistaken, partner. I ain't. Boy told me all about you as soon as you come to town. Town? That's what you call this? What's wrong with cesspit? <laughs> You know, I saw you talking to that Abner Forsyth. Who? The temperance movement man. Man trying to put me in a poorhouse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Interesting fella. He's Jeremiah Somerset's pawn. The industrialist wants the, the state to outlaw public consumption of liquor. So he can make a fortune selling personal gin stills. Leave bar owners like me begging in the street. Ah, oh, my heart bleeds for the three of you. I just can't figure out which one I dislike the most. You kill Abner Forsyth. I'd do right by you. You can find yourself someone else. Oh. Kill him. Ha, ha, ha. 